The weekend coming to a close along with Jeep Fest 2023. This year brought just as, as much excitement as years passed, as well as so many Toledo made Jeeps old and new. Action News reporter Brenna Nye was there for all the festivities. Toledo's Jeep Fest has once again come and gone. With over 1,500 Jeeps in Saturday's parade and 1,300 participants in Sunday morning's run, organizers say the event was a major success and already planning starts for next year. We're planning a bigger and better parade than ever, an awesome vendor midway next year, and we're going to bring back the kid zone and um, and uh, the family zone, and so we're really excited for next year. And the kids zone seemed to be a hit. And what yes. was your favorite part? Um, whenever I get to go in the bouncy houses. But as for the Jeeps themselves, some new Toledo made Jeeps were on display, like this 1948 Willie's delivery wagon. There's not many of them around, that's why it's rare. <laughs> Bill Gernheiser has had this model for three years, and local Toledoans recognized it. There's a lot of people here that stopped in that actually worked at Jeep when they were making these, and they were telling Terry, a friend of mine, about how they used to make them after the war. That's the coolest thing about Jeep Fest. Models that are made right here in Toledo, new or old, rare or common, get brought back and showcased, and Gernheiser's model is one of those. You know, it was made in Toledo, and then it was shipped to California, and then shipped to Texas, and then I brought it back to... So you brought it home? Yeah, brought it home, right. And whether or not he wants to admit it? I'm a Jeepster, I guess, now. <laughs> so what can people expect next year? A lot of the same, but we'll find a way to turn the volume up next year as well. Brenna and I reporting for us from Jeep Fest. Organizers are telling us tonight that early estimates show at least 70,000 people attended this year, representing 40 states.